Hey, what's up? It's Vinny D here, and uh, we just finished an awesome workout. Richard um, was reading the latest newsletter that I sent out to all of our Seven Figure Mastermind members, and it was on normalizing challenges. Challenges that typically cause beginner entrepreneurs to hit the panic button, freak out, and think their business is broken, and then quit. So, I, I mean, you had some interesting things yeah, yeah. to uh, say, and I thought we'd just record this. And uh, let's just dive into it because we want to help you normalize challenges. Yeah. All right. So the question that I had was because I've been transitioning from powerlifting over to bodybuilding. Vince has been introducing me to the bodybuilding space and the workouts are getting super intense and really difficult. And so one question that I wanted to ask Vince was, are these challenges normal? Because I feel like it's getting really, really difficult. And the newsletter was actually in the perfect timing because Vince actually wrote about normalizing challenges and there's 10 points that he talked about. Um, I think this would be really Let's cool. just give them the first five. Just yeah. really just quickly, just rapid fire. I know you guys are busy, but listen, you have to know what you're signing up for. All right, so just kind of knock them out. And what my mentors have helped me do is reframe problems. Where many people see something as a, an issue, we see this as an opportunity. So what are these five things? And let's just bang them out. And maybe we can do a part two if, uh, if this is uh, something they want more of. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, the first one says overwhelm means you're growing. What does that mean? Yeah, so overwhelm means you're growing because you're outside of your comfort zone, right? Back home, your family's going to tell you, oh, maybe you signed up too early. Maybe you need to work on yourself before you go back into that coaching program or that arena. That is the wrong mindset. It simply means you're in uncharted territory and you're positioning yourself for a breakthrough. So the new reframe for you is that overwhelm is good. All right, overwhelm is in fact going to help you get to the next level. So don't see this as a negative thing. All right, the reason you haven't been growing is because you've never overwhelmed yourself before. Overwhelm is good. Second thing is the first year is always the hardest. Yeah, a lot of people come into the online space, even people who have been going for a while, they join a coaching program, they've been at a plateau for a while, and they expect like one technique quickly to snap them out of it. And the truth is, is that the first year is the hardest for the beginners, because you have to think different, you have to act different, you're outside your comfort zone. So you just have to understand that there's very little takeoff. It's a long, long runway. If you're looking for a short runway with quick takeoff, this business isn't for you. Yeah. You'd be better off just getting a, a job promotion where you work. Guess how many people bought my book in the first two weeks? Did I tell you this? No. One. One. Yeah, it was my yeah. mom. Yeah, wow. and uh, here I think that I'm gonna start making a couple sales a day and then it's gonna grow and then I'm gonna be able to quit my job. It took two years before I could quit my job. Two years. All right, my second sale was a guy uh, that I work with at the gym, another personal trainer. I'm like, wow, this is gonna be hard. So. Of literally over a hundred launches I've done in the past 10 years, I think there's been about two or three that have actually been like, wow, we crushed it. Yeah. Every one, almost like my university days, I'd always swear, I'd say, I got a 97, mom, I crushed that exam, 63, 67. Yeah. I was always disappointed. So disappointment is normal. You will likely not crush your first launch. There will likely be missed expectations. That is not a reason for you to quit. Yeah. This is pretty much normal. So the new mindset of a seven-figure earner is that this is likely not going to work the first time. Uh, Number four says that nothing will grow fast enough. Yeah, this is good. Nothing will grow fast enough. Like just in the gym. Are you ever building muscle fast enough? Are you ever getting lean fast enough? Are you ever getting stronger fast enough? Never, right? Whatever level you're at, Richard, whether you're at the beginner level, whether you're already seven figures, whether you join a new coaching program and you start getting new marching orders, nothing will ever go fast enough. Just accept that, all right? We've been sold this lie that you should have overnight success. You're seeing people's lives fabricated on social media. It's, it's just not a reality, all right? So um, nothing will ever go fast enough. Yeah. And the last one that I think we should talk about today to wrap this up is uh, clients and customers will come and go. This is a painful one, especially for entrepreneurs who've got a big heart, who want to see their clients succeed, and the heartbeat of their program is servicing and caring. You just can't save everyone, yeah. all right? You're not a knight in shiny armor, all right? You can't rescue every single person that comes into your world. A lot of people are coming in with uh, issues underneath the hood. You have to do your best as a coach, provide them with the program, the support, and the help they need, but many people just don't have the programming to go the distance. 
All right, so don't take it personal if somebody cancels or refunds or discontinues, all right? It happens to all of us, all right? You just have to become an entrepreneur that doesn't make decisions based on emotions. You've got to stop being so emotional, all right? It's not helping you. You've got to be logical in business, all right? If you get like up and down, up and down, and you're always reacting and reacting and reacting and you're not responding and anticipating and just seeing these as opportunities to build a stronger business, then you're just gonna fall apart, all right? So I think those are five challenges that if you start to normalize, as you start to experience, not I think, I know, because these are things that have helped me run a seven-figure business for over a decade. And uh, even guys further ahead of me, they've got this DNA, if you will, but it doesn't just, you know, you don't wake up with it one day. It's developed through adversity, all right, and experiencing it and living through it. So I just want to be an encouragement to you. If you're going through any of those five things, you're in the right spot, all right? You belong right where you, right where you are. Is that good? I think that's perfect right there. All right, hey, let us yeah. know if you want us to do part two and normalize five more challenges in another video. And um, if you need any help getting through any of those struggles, then let's set up a call. Go to callwithvince.ca and uh, be happy to talk, talk it through, all right? Sometimes you just need another coach who's been there, done that, to say, hey man, I remember when we were there. Totally get you, man. Yeah, you're on the right path. Nothing's broken. You can do this. Here's what we're going to focus on next. And if you want to get some help from us, we can discuss that too. So schedule a call today. That's the next best thing you can do to move your business forward. Call with Vince.ca. And uh, Richard, good questions, man. Yeah. We'll Thanks, talk to you all soon.